Hello and welcome to another episode of Squirtified Engineering. I'm Sprutis and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing so you can stay up to date with all my different projects. So um, it's uh, quite late, I've been uh, editing for most of the day but uh, I felt that I needed to get out at least for a few seconds so I will start the episode today and continue tomorrow. I will bring these uh, stereo stuff to the garage, the uh, same setup that I had before, which was given to me by a friend. It's an old tube amplifier. I think I need to take it apart and clean it a little because the the volume potentiometer is uh, uh, adding some uh, annoying scrape sounds. But I will take that and just have a look at my wonderful Supra and see that everything is okay. Everything seems okay, so that's a good thing. So now I've brought my stereo stuff, stuff that you saw me put together, and my new workbench. But if you see, we have some uh, uh, matte surfaces and uh, gloss, semi-glossy surfaces. This one definitely needs another coat. So Sid has said that she wants to do that tomorrow, so when she does that I will continue on with the lights and getting some material up here so I have a shelf uh, because I think I will place the stereo up here and one speaker over here and then perhaps one, maybe one here. And then one back there, and one back there. Something like that. And my Supra is sleeping tight. And I blocked the space between the welding machine and my Supra with my stock prop shaft. So they can't touch. I just put that towel there for extra protection. And the reason why it's standing so close is because I'm a bit over the line. So yeah, until tomorrow. So it's the second day and uh, I've been stuck at home editing videos. So I wasn't able to go to the garage today like I planned. But I managed to stop by and drop this OSB off at least. So that one will go on top of one of the cupboards. The painted OSB will go on top here. I will have to do two section, sections. So one here and then one from here to there. So it will be the same thickness the entire way. But here I will most likely, like I've already said, have my stereo. So tomorrow I will do uh, another attempt to come by. Um, I will try directly after work because uh, now I have basically everything. The only thing I do need are some brushes uh, to do the uh, boat varnish on the on this piece. So I will buy that on my way here after work tomorrow. So. Catch, the, catch you then. So it's now the third day and 
third try. I also I also brought some backup. So uh, all I need to do now is uh, change out of my work codes like like that. Mm -hmm. So first priority here, fix that shelf. And then put up a switch here, an outlet here, a uh, junction box around the pillar, and then Sid can do some painting. We bought some new brushes. And while she does that, I will here, I will replace my temporary double cable here with a five lead cable to make it nice <laughs> first I want to secure this so I will use these angle irons and I had to buy some screws which won't go through so I will do that from the underside and then we can move on to the shelf
have the OSB and I know this is not that great but uh, it will do for now I will only keep my tiny stereo up here basically so it's more like a lid I will also put some OSB over there but um, after I've trimmed off this edge I can uh, put the sheets together and then some paint on the edge I think this will be the end of this episode. As you saw, I got a bit sidetracked. Uh, I realized that the angle irons works as the locks for the cupboards. I will finish these and install them, and then I have two cupboards. And up here, we have it's mounted, and also that extra piece. I'm missing a piece inside, but it's okay. So, uh, hmm. if you're still watching, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like. And uh, I will see you in the next episode. Stay safe. Bye.